2020 is a very special year for the world, especially for the U.S. So many significant things happened, mostly unexpected. For example, the U.S. being the worst hit in the world by the COVID-19 pandemic, the Black Lives Matter movement, actions taken by the U.S. against China, and the fierce disputes over the presidential election. The pandemic is obviously the most notable event that had a serious impact on every corner of the society. And that impact will last for a fairly long time. To effectively control the pandemic, you need to have clear and correct policy guidance, strict regulations, and cooperation of the general public. But none of these critical efforts are adequate here. Now we see new highs every day, both confirmed cases and daily deaths. Vaccines are in sight, but as experts have suggested, you cannot solely rely on vaccines. The president-elect, John Biden, has said he plans to ask Americans to wear masks for his first 100 days in office. That will bring us hope. Although Washington has never stopped scapegoating and defaming China since the start of the pandemic, China has continued its support to the U.S. in fighting the pandemic by supplying protective equipment. I still remember in April, I wrote a story about a private plane carrying a million masks from China's Shenzhen to Boston when they were desperately needed in hospitals here. Official data show that by mid-November, China has exported more than 39 billion masks to the U.S., in addition to billions of other protective equipment. Roughly about 120 Chinese-made masks for each American on average. Another thing to be noted is the downward spiral of the China-U.S. relations. The U.S. government has continuously taken actions against China in multiple areas, including the media, diplomats, education, and enterprises. Many experts have suggested that the upcoming Biden administration should make efforts to improve bilateral relations between the world's top two economies. The Time magazine has declared 2020 the worst year ever. Hopefully 2021 will be better for both the U.S. and the world. The pandemic will likely be brought under control with vaccines and public awareness and the economy will be back on track accordingly. We can also expect improvements in China-U.S. relations, as the new U.S. government will realize that a soured relationship does no good to either side.